All right, cool. So today I'm going to show you how to install mods for Fallout 4. This is manual installation, nothing much. All right, so first thing first, first thing you're going to need is WinRAR or 7-zip, any form of, of um, file to actually read up zip folders. After that, you have a, after you have that installed, you're going to need a mod manager, and if you want a mod organizer, I use Nexus Mod Managers or as my mod manager, and I use Loot as my mod organizer. The mod organizer, from what I've heard, is optional, so you know how for a while I didn't use one. However, in my opinion, it's just better to have one. Now, a website you want to go to to install mods is the Nexus Mod website. This is a place where you find many different types of mods. Mods from quest mods to armor mods to weapon mods, a whole bunch of mods, including some um, uh, mods for females because apparently nobody like male characters. Anyways, continuing on, the mod we're going to install today is the Smith & Wesson 500-50 cal revolver. Now, I already have this mod installed, however, I'll still show you how to install it. So to install a mod, you have to go to the files section, wait for that to load, I guess it takes a while to load today. And you're going to hit manual download. Now, there are other ways you can actually install mods. Like some mods have a Nexus mod ad manager inst installation process, but I'm just going to use the manual download for now. So all you have to do is hit, is, uh, hit manual. It'll load up a bit. Now, I already have the mod installed, so I'm going to hit, hit cancel. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is you need to find your data folder. Now, there are two ways to find your data folder. I'm just gonna open up this. This this is the mod I downloaded, Smith and Wesson 500. The first way to do it is you go to find your through uh, Steam. Now the normal way to find it is go to Steam program files. Let's go to your operating system, which is your C folder for my computer. It could be whatever folder it is. Go operating uh, program files time 86. You find Steam, Steam apps common. Now I do not have Fallout 4 installed onto to my operating system I have installed onto an external hard drive. So in this case, I'll have to go to Steam, find Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. Now with this mod, it already has a data folder, folder in it way. And what will happen is you just drag it into the data folder here and it will sort out every single folder. However, the way I install mods and the way a few other people install mods is that you open up these folders both the data folders, you highlight the these mods, and then you install. And to make sure, sorry, my mouse is fidgety. And make sure you don't install it all the way. You you click and drag over to highlight all these, and you put in a folder. This could take a couple minutes, or this could take a couple seconds, depending on how many files are in the mod. Now, normally there'd be two or three mods to, or files to replace. However, I pretty much reinstalled it, so I replaced the whole mod as is. Now, the other way eh, to uh, look at your data folder is if you own it on Steam, which if you got to mod it for PC, then you should own it on Steam because then it proves you have a legal copy because there's a lot of problems with illegal copies. You right-click it, you hit Properties, you go to Local Files, and you hit browse local files. That is the other way you can look at you can find a data folder and a lot faster. In my opinion, a lot less confusing. However, if you don't want to do it that way, that is all oh, that's fine. Now, since I like I said, I have the mods installed and organized. So since I use Nexus Mod Manager here, here you have to wait it for it to load a bit. And then normally, the mod would be at the bottom of the list. However, I already have the mod uninstalled. So, in order to actually activate the mod, you already just left click on the box. However, the mod I just left clicked on, the mod I just clicked on will actually conflict with another mod, so there's that. Next, again, this is an optional step. However, it is highly recommended you do have a mod organizer. Is that you go ahead and you install 
via this modern organizer called loot. Now, in order to use loot, pretty much after it loads, this may take a while, all you have to do is hit this button right here to hit sort plugins. At that point, it would, it would uh, be sorting the load order, and then hit apply. Now I'll show you how to get it in the game. Hopefully, I have a different recording software, so I'll show you through Place TV. All right, then, so welcome back to the game. So this time, in order to show you the uh, mod it's installed, I'm gonna cheat to get it. However, there are some mods require you to uh, get the weapon like this. So all you do is help. This time I'm gonna put Wesson for WEP. You see it right there. Smith and Wesson 500. So I have to do is player dot add item 2F001733. Now the first three letters or numbers will actually change depending on your load order. So this time it's for load order and the code is 2F0 or just 2F. Hit enter. The weapon should be added into your we inventory. As you can see, it's right here. And it uses the normal standard revolver reload animations. So in case you want to cheat to get ammo, like I'm going to do right now, you do help 50 for ammo. And all you have to do is go to the top and get the 50 BMG round. So again, player dot add item 001F279. Give myself only 100 of these. And there you have it. That is actually how you install mods. That's right there. It's pretty much the same installation process for like any other armor or weapon mod or even quest mod. But as a reference, here's another model weapon, the caravan shotgun. Pretty much like my whole inventory, so like model weapons, except for like this one. And there you have it, guys. I'm not gonna put all the mods in the description. The items I'm gonna add in the description is the WinRAR archiver, and that's about it. So that's all, and have a nice day, everyone.